Hello, I'm Chris Williams and welcome to my video blog. One of my regular viewers has written in to ask me what my opinion is on drugs. Well, I was thinking I would talk about my opinion on drugs when I show you around my house of multiple occupancy here in Cardiff. This is a combination of footage that I filmed some time ago and uh, recent footage of the empty rooms available here at the house of multiple occupancy. If you've got £312 a month, you can come and join me here in the Cates area of Cardiff. Uh, here in the United Kingdom. Right, so, my opinion on drugs. I haven't really got an opinion on drugs, but I don't take drugs. But as I've been invited to give an opinion, I think I will say that drugs are bad, and of course, there are laws in place to stop you taking drugs, but they can kill you, but uh, obviously there are different categories of drugs, uh, some more deadlier than others. Uh, those in Britain with uh, Professor David Nutt, the uh, government advisor on drug policy, resigned. Because he said that uh, the media and the government were saying that some drugs, like uh, cannabis, I think it was, are more dangerous than what they really are. He claimed that uh, alcohol and tobacco are even more deadly. I do agree that uh, alcohol is deadly. I had a relative who uh, died of alcohol poisoning. I was just sampling their first taste of alcohol. That's why I don't drink myself. Uh, so I think that if you are to be jailed for taking drugs, then you should be jailed for drinking alcohol because that's not how the world works. And because uh, loads of people are so addicted to alcohol that uh, they would be appalled at uh, such a policy. So uh, the person who wanted me to give my opinion on drugs, they they particularly know what my opinion is on the uh, drugs and the law. Well, I know some people take drugs for medicinal purposes, and that should be allowed. I agree that that is okay. But I understand such people have. Have uh, been uh, jailed for taking the drugs as their medication. A case of a, a, a so called nanny state where the government says, Ah, oh, so what is helping you with your treatment? No, more effective than your pharmaceutical prescribed medicine. They say that it's bad for you and they punish you for taking it, even though it's helping you and it's making you feel uh, more comfortable. But, um, uh, drugs, of course, they're like. Uh, herbal medication, though, that sort of unofficial medication that doesn't help you to get better, so, uh, well, I'm from a scientific background, uh, I'm not completely sure, uh, what the, uh, uh, th there is any guarantee that taking drugs is good for your health, uh, anyway, um, so yes, we're looking around the empty properties here in my accommodation, and of course there is a smoking area outside in the, uh, uh, garden car park where I think you have to pay £50 a year to have a special permit to park in the garden car park in a visited parking slot. Astrophysics is my key interest in life, and I want to educate you a bit about astrophysics. And I think the topic that I will start off with is uh, accretion disk physics. Right, now let me illustrate it with some very basic objects. An accretion disk is a disk around a massive star, and the, disc, the, the material in that disk is taken from a smaller body body, a smaller star, you tend to have binary stars orbiting around each other. The central star 
is sometimes a black hole, other times it's a more massive star. And so you end up with a disc. <laughs> right, I've, uh, this is the first other spot of fun with this. Uh, instead of trying to illustrate with everyday objects, right? A disc. And what you d what you tend to have is you've got the black hole in the middle, and you've got a star like this on the outskirts of the star, and material is taken from this star and falls in towards the central object, in this case a black hole, uh, because there is a loss of gravitational potential energy and a loss of momentum in the star that is orbiting. And what tends to happen is that the star enlarges itself, it uh, experiences so-called roach, roach lobe overflow, where material is stripped off it, inflating its volume, and the material in the outskirts of it gets wrapped up in this uh, gravitational potential well, the disk that I'm talking about, and the material then falls in towards the centralised point. And that is the concept of a black hole surrounded by an accretion disk with a star on the outskirts supplying the accretion disk material. And of course, the object in the center doesn't get any larger, but it's it becomes more luminous because of the disk surrounding it, the more material being added to the disk as time goes on, and the star on the outskirts decreases in volume and completely disappears after a while. And such stars which lose material too readily, you know, when material is just blown off, are known as wolf veiled stars. And of course, there are many other ways in which stars can be destroyed and where accretion disks occur, but that will be the topic of another blog, which I'll be doing at a later time.